Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in the F-14B Tomcat and we're looking at the HUD and the VDI. Now, as for the scope of this video, we're going to look at the different basic modes and symbology, but we're not going to go into the weapons employment and the navigation, which will add extra symbology. Instead, we'll look at that extra symbology when it comes to the navigation video and it comes to the weapons video so that we don't just duplicate. So we've got the HUD here, the heads up display, which is used for general flight, navigation and weapons employment. And we've got the VDI here, which is a complement to the HUD. The HUD works in five basic modes, and we can say that the VDI works in three basic modes. So first of all, we'll look at the display control panel, which is this guy that I'm circling here. These various switches tell the HUD and the VDI what to display. So the master modes for the HUD are here, takeoff, cruise, air to air, air to ground and landing, and we'll go through all of those shortly. Regards to the HUD, we can have declutter on or off. So as an example, if we just put that in landing, we look at it normally, we see that symbology. If we declutter, then it gets rid of what it considers all of the unnecessary symbology. What it gets rid of will depend on which mode you're in here. Then we have, regards to the HUD, the AWL, all weather landing. Whether we want to display the ACL, the automatic carrier landing, or ILS instrument landing system or instrument carrier landing system and we'll go over this more in navigation videos then we have the VDI do we want it in a normal mode or we do we want it in TV in TV we can get feed from the TCS system or the lantern targeting pod so back to normal again we can repeat AWL all weather landing ICLS or ACL this here is the HSD we're not looking at that today here we have the power on or off for the VDI and the HUD. And we just mentioned that these are the steering commands here. This is for navigation and we'll go over that another time. And out of interest, we can change the pitch ladder brightness on the HUD here. Next, we've got some more controls underneath VDI. These are for the HUD and the VDI. So we've got the HUD brightness here and we can click and drag with left click or we can mouse scroll. That changes the HUD brightness for the symbology. The VDI brightness. VDI contrast, although uh, that'll only work on the TV mode. We've got the VDI trim and the HUD trim here. So if we were looking at, for instance, this pitch ladder here, in comparison to our aircraft datum there, we can toggle and change it like that. We can also do the same for the VDI. We've also got a night filter for the HUD. This is basic day mode when it's green. Press this and we get night mode for red. So we'll look at the normal VDI symbology first because it's super simple. So we've got our aircraft datum and that dot there is the longitudinal axis of our aircraft. That dot there is where the aircraft is pointing. These dotted side wings on the left and right of the datum show the roll of our aircraft. So if we were to unpause and roll, you can see that there. We can also show the attitude, pitch attitude of the aircraft by how far up the aircraft datum is compared to the horizon line here. 10 degrees up, 10 degrees, uh, sorry, 20 degrees up, 30 degrees up, minus 10, minus 20. So if we wanted to point up at plus 20 degrees, you can go up something like that there. And you can see at the bottom the telemetry says we're now at 19 degrees pitch. We've also got our heading tape at the top here, and where we are is basically in the middle of the tape. So we are currently between 350 and 000, so we're about 355 at the moment. That's all I want to show on the VDI at the moment. If we go up to the HUD, we've got a lot of that repeated. So we've got our pitch ladder here, 15 degrees plus, plus 20 degrees, and we can again go, if we go below the horizon, we get minus. The intervals between this, between the pitch ladder steps are different depending on which master mode we're in here. So we're in landing. In fact, why don't we start and take off? It's just going to be easier. So we're going to go to take off. You can see with take off, we've got, oh well, again, five degrees between these. Again, we have our aircraft datum here. So that is our longitudinal axis of our aircraft. And here are the wings of the datum, which can show a roll again. And if we go up to 20 degrees there, then you see we're at 20 degrees. If you're wondering why the VDI doesn't match up with the HUD, it's because I was messing around with the trims earlier on. I didn't put them back right. Again, we've got a heading tape at the top telling us that based on this carrot here, we are currently at about 3, 5, 4 degrees heading. If we unpause and look down, we'll see the horizon bar come up again. That is our horizon line there. Pause. 
we should see we're at zero degrees and you can see in the telemetry we're at zero degrees there next is our bsi our vertical speed indicator that's that chap here it's currently saying we're at zero so we're not going up and we're not going down if it were at plus one in fact why don't we climb up again if i unpause it there and i pull the nose up if i pause it say there you can see at that point we are climbing at bearing in mind that's a thousand at 750 feet per minute and if it was down here we'll be diving at that many times a thousand feet per minute out of interest this here is a little video camera which records the hud for going through later for weapons employment and whatnot but that's not modeled in dcs so we'll go down to our next mode now we've got cruise for general cruising very li limited information now the ladder is sparsened we've now got rungs at only 30 degrees so we've got horizon here plus 30 there minus 30 down there plus 60 plus 90 etc and the heading tape is the same next we've got air to air again we've got very sparse information on air to air note that the heading tape's gone i don't really know why it does that in air to air i guess it's to clear up the screen so you can spot bad guys but i find it incredibly frustrating because now you have to go kind of down here to look at your uh, heading tape again we've got the 30 degree rung pitch ladder we've got the aircraft datum and we have this cross here our weapons cross as i call it so this is where your weapons are bore sided to so uh, if i were to select a sidewinder now you can see how it's searching around this bore sight cross here and this here is representing the seeker head get rid of that take note when we go and do the weapons videos and start using the weapons there will be added symbology that we'll go through at the time next we've got air to ground so our heading tapes back we're back to five degrees between pitch ladder rungs our datum's the same this cross through ord here is just telling us that we've got our uh, master arm uh, off sorry and this time we've got our altitude barometric altitude shown here in thousands of feet so that's the ground level we're currently at about 9,000 feet yes we are 8,600 note that the carrot for the heading tape and the weapons cross is now in the same place that's why what it gives that funny six-fingered sign finally we have our landing so for the landing we've got a five degrees pitch ladder we've got a heading tape as normal our weapons cross is gone our datum is the same our bsi is back and we've got a new chap here we've got our angle of attack error bracket here or the e bracket as i call it it's kind of off the top of the screen at the moment let me see if i can get it back on just by unpausing just turn that break off so that's our e bracket uh, the idea is it tells us when we are on the correct angle of attack for landing which would be 15 degrees out of interest we're currently too low angle of attack and when this e bracket here is level with our aircraft datum here that is telling us we are at the correct angle of attack for landing which is 15 degrees and you need to be at that angle of attack for the arrest hook to work and for the just the whole landing to work whether airfield or carrier so as i got slower that e bracket would slowly go and the and the angle of attack increase that bracket would work its way down here to the datum if it came below the datum here our angle of attack is above 15 degrees and it's letting us know we're too slow for the weight now there's one symbol that's not in, on here at the moment that's because uh, the tomcat is currently bugged when i use active pause so i'm going to restart and um, show that okay we're back and i will not pause it this time if i can do that kind of pause that works you'll notice this chap is in here this is our path vector or our velocity vector it is showing exactly where our aircraft is actually going so our aircraft is flying towards that point there it's pointing towards the date in there and these two will very rarely match each other and the difference between these two is called our angle of attack out of interest if we look at the bottom down here our aircraft pitch is eight degrees and our angle of attack is currently 6.3 degrees we'll use this path vector almost exclusively for landing and air to ground attack and that's a good point if we go to air to ground mode now pause that quickly we'll see we also get our path vector on this mode here because it's going to be useful in air to ground mode so that's our basic hud modes and vdi modes and symbology gone over we'll expand on this when we get into the weapons and the navigations videos but i hope that helps and see you later